always tell my students, balance your sword and walk around the house. Balance your sword and watch TV. Balance your sword and brush your teeth. So today, we're going to balance our sword and make ourselves a sandwich. So welcome to my kitchen. I am quite the gourmand. So today we are making uh, one of my favorite sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly. So in my kitchen, I always have a butter knife and a um, bigger knife for you know the other stuff that I need to cut or dance with, as the case may be. So take a deep breath. We're going to balance our sword. I always have this little notch here kind of cut in where my sword is best balanced. So when I balance my sword, I always take a quick little sneak peek to make sure I know where that notch is so I can balance it pretty quickly. All right, so now you have your sword balanced on your head and you are going to walk slowly and sensually to the refrigerator to get your peanut butter. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> yeah, that's my refrigerator right there. <laughs> And I'm going to reach in strawberry. I love strawberry jelly. And peanut butter. So first, you open. I need to go to the gym more often. First, first you open. Woo! <laughs> All right, so now we are working on peripheral vision, right? So obviously when you have a sword on your head, you can't do a lot of looking with your head. You can't turn your head quite a bit, you can look with your eyes. But you wanna be able to look at your peripheral vision to see what you need to see without having to stare directly at stuff, right? So here we go. I've got my little sword and my big sword. And this is a double sword act going on right here, yes? And I've got the peanut butter. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. So what can we do here? Can we do Ami's and Ami? If you can layer Ami-ing and putting jelly on your sandwich, you get a gold star, yeah? So, the next step is to get down to the floor. And to try to find the knife. I think there's peanut butter on my floor. Ah! Ew. <laughs> I found it. Excellent. So now I have finished my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and we need to find a way to take the sword off our head triumphantly. Da 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 da. And I see no better ending, honestly, to this peanut butter and jelly story than if I could then wield my knife and cut my sandwich. Which side is the sharp side? I don't think either side is sharp. <laughs> I would never win a sword fight with this sword. about where I've danced with this sword. I don't even think I want to eat this sandwich. Here we go. Okay, sword dancers. So what have we learned from our sandwich making experiment? One, we have learned, one, dancing with a sword on your head, it is very important to utilize your peripheral vision. You cannot look with your head. You cannot look with your head. You can look with your eyes, but even better, to be able to see with your peripheral vision so you don't run into the refrigerator or an errant waiter or customer or something. So, working on peripheral vision. We have also learned that it is very important to figure out how to gracefully get down to the floor and get back up again. So, five, strength and balance. We have learned also that three, the sword is not a very good sandwich cutting implement, so don't even bother. So now we're gonna to put together a combination that utilizes all these ideas, except for idea number three, because uh, that's not really relevant at this point. So let me walk you through it. I'll turn to face the mirror so we're on the same side. We're gonna put the sword on our head, and we're gonna take our time here. Take your time when you put the sword on the head. You don't want to be messing with it for the rest of your routine. Once we're set, we're starting with inner hip rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight two undulations, four counts each. Then we'll level to the floor with Maya's left, right, left, come to your knees. From here, you're on both knees. Now we're gonna gently lower ourselves down and sit to the right side, trying not to plop 
over and lose your sword, right? Sitting gently on the right side, extending our legs in front of us, which will turn you a quarter turn to your left. Hands come behind, we'll lift the hips, we'll do maybe like three of these little belly rolls, being very cognizant of your head placement, right? Not here, not here, not here. Straight up and down with that head. Once you're done with that, lower the booty down. Take those legs over to your right, knees are to the left, and we are going to use our abdominals and our thighs to lift ourselves up and over and back to the right. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna extend the legs out. We're going to bring them to the right. We're gonna lift ourselves up. This time, you're gonna keep turning counterclockwise to your left. You're gonna open up that left knee. From here, you're going to come to standing using the power from your left thigh. Do not underestimate the power of the top of your right foot to push you up off the ground. So trying to come straight up here. Your sword will still be spinning, so you're going to want to continue to spin with it, and you will eventually use that right arm as a brick. This right arm will be in front of your sword. It will prevent it from continuing to spin, yeah? Let's walk it again with counts with no sword. And then we'll try it with the sword and see what happens. So your reverse undulation up, bring the sword down. And once it's balanced, take your time. Arms come to the side. Seven, eight. It's one, two, three, four, and left and right inner hip roll. Undulations, four counts each. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maya's to the ground. Left, right, left. And sit, come to the right hip. Extend those legs. Undulation. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six. Feet go to the right. My hips go up and over. And one more time. Open up that left leg. And pause. Make sense? Grab your sword. All right, are you ready? I'll do it once facing away from you so we're all on the same side, then I'll turn and face you. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and balance. We'll give you eight counts here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Here we go, left hip. One, two, three, four. Undulations. Eyes to the floor, left and right and left and sit. Over to the right. And we're going to strike our pose right here. Undulations. And sit. Coming over the legs. One more time. Lola, what are you doing to me here? What are you doing? Lola, go away. 